So here we have a system of equations from an actual SAT practice test given by the College Board. So we're trying to find a value of P, this constant in this equation right here, that gives the system no solutions. So the first thing that's important to note is what condition needs to be met for a system of linear equations to have no solutions. So linear equations represent lines. So the only way two lines can um, you know, look on a graph where they'll have no points of intersections or solutions is if they are directly parallel to each other. And two lines are parallel when they have the same slope but different y-intercepts. So that's kind of what we're gonna wanna find with these equations. So first thing we can do is we can try to uh, simplify these equations by multiplying through by a common denominator. So for equation one, the common denominator for all of these would be 12. And for equation two, it would just be two. So what we can do is multiply this top by 12. So we do three halves times 12, well, one half of 12 is six. So we just do 12 plus six and we get 18. Y minus, and now a fourth of 12 is three, three X equals, as we said, all right, now, so a third of 12 is four, so two thirds is eight. And then as we said before, three halves is 18. It's 18, y. Now for this bottom equation, it's a little simpler. We just multiply three by two. Uh, first thing becomes one x, which we can just write as x, plus three equals two py plus nine. Nine came out a little weird there, but you guys know what that looks like. So now we will combine like terms on this side, um, just kind of standard form for equations, uh, literally called standard form is uh, something in the form ax plus by equals c. So that's kind of what we're gonna try to emulate. So I'll move this negative 18 over to this side and I'll move uh, this three over to the right side and the two py to the left side. So first for equation one, it becomes uh, 18y plus 18y, 36y minus 3x equals 8. And now for equation 2, we're going to get, so we'll take the 2y to the 2py to the left side, so we get x minus 2py. Uh, and I guess, forgive me, I actually switched the order that they should go in, but it'll come out about the same. Uh, and we can subtract 3 from the right side, so we'll get 6. And now the next step is pretty simple. We're going to want to compare slopes, and we want the slope to essentially be the same. So for the slope to be the same, we need the coefficient of x to match with the coefficient of x, and the coefficient of y to match with the coefficient of y. So first thing we have to do is we can see we should match the x first because there's a variable here that we need to solve for. So first we can multiply equation two through by negative three to get it to match. Uh, so what we would get is, and now so negative three times negative two P will be six P. So we get six P Y, negative three times X is negative three X. And then negative three times six is negative 18. And now just copying down equation one, we have 36 Y minus three X equals a and from here it's very easy to solve because our slope is determined by the coefficients of x and y so as long as if these are if um, the coefficient of x is the same in this case negative 3 and the coefficient of y is the same in this case we'll get it equal to 36 then the um, and the c constant term aren't equal to each other then we have the conditions required for there to be no solution since we have the same slope but different y-intercepts. So that just means p has to equal 6. Because 6 times 6 equals 36, and then we have our matching slopes with differing y-intercepts. Uh, and to clarify, these aren't the y-intercepts. These would be, uh, the y-intercept would be found by dividing through by 36, because you have to convert this to a um, point, or uh, y equals mx plus b form. But for the scope of this question, we don't have to do this. We can keep it in standard form. All right. Hopefully that all makes sense. Signing off.